Referrals is such a funny thing. You know, we have so many opportunities in the day that we refer people to other businesses. So if somebody comes to me and says, oh, I'd love to get my hair done, I'd say, go see my hairdresser, Michael, he's fantastic. You know, somebody might ask, where do I get a great cup of coffee? And you say, oh, that one down the street has, you know, my favorite brand of coffee and it's fantastic. And go and see Peter behind there and say hello and he'll give you an upgrade. You know, we're just recommending things all the time. And if you even have a child, oh my goodness, the recommendations that come about what formula to use, what child cares are great, you know, what clothes to buy, they just come thick and fast. So people are very comfortable with giving recommendations all the time. But in business, for some reason, we find it really tough to ask for a referral. I've heard so many different business owners and, and staff say, I don't want to ask for a referral because I don't want to push it. And I think, push what? You know, like... People are happy to give referrals. It means that they're helping people. So what it means is that you've just got to change your communication style. And you can say a couple of things when it comes to referrals, such as, you know, now that you enjoy your product so much, or now that you've got these great results, don't keep us a secret. Who else has been commenting that they'd also um, like uh, these sort of changes or this product? And then, you know, you're opening up the dialogue for that person to start recommending you a, um, a, a, a referral. You know, the other thing is to, to be proactive and you can have referral promotions and you can, you know, say refer a friend this month and you both go in a draw to win a prize or, or something like that. And it just stimulates the staff's ability to be able to ask for referrals. I guess that's really a tool to be able to give them confidence. But to have a point of sale system is really critical. So when someone buys your products or buys your services straight away, it could just be like, um, you know, that's fantastic that you've now got started on this. Who, who else has been commenting that they might also like to be able to start um, a health and fitness program or with these products? And then, you know, again, you're opening up the dialogue. But the, the, the key is if you actually want to get the person's name and phone number, don't do that to the very end of your conversation. I've seen salespeople out there saying, you know, some dialogue is like, have you got fr um, some family and friends numbers and stuff like that? And it's kind of really pitchy. We don't really want family and friends numbers. We actually really want to help somebody else that also might be in the need for our products and services. So just start off the dialogue that way. And then at the end, and then say, oh, look, listen, could you just let them know that I'll be giving them a call so they can have a free trial? Um, and then the person agrees. And then you say, great, what would be the best contact number to get them on? And that way the phone number is the last thing. But also too, that person's texting their friends saying, hey, listen, um, Amanda from XYZ Business is going to give you a buzz. And I've I hooked you up with a free trial. So that way when you call, that co that conversation is going to be much easier to book that person to come down and see you. So don't hesitate at all to start generating referrals. You should be replacing every lead that's converting into a sale with a new lead. And, you know, just remember that the at the end of the day, the person referring um, the friend is actually being helpful because go back to the beginning. We all out there every day are referring restaurants, we're referring um, hairdressers, where we like to get our coffee, um, florists, whatever. We, we're referring them all the time to our family and friends. So there's no problem with you asking for a referral because you're just going to be building the pipeline of your business and you're going to be creating communities inside your community. There's nothing better than when people know each other that use your facilities and businesses. It just creates communities and that, that gives the business its own buzz and its own advantages in a number of ways as well. So go out there, build up your referral um, strategies Point of sales, really important. And then promotions randomly through the year. I always get asked, should you give a gift for a referral? And my answer is, if it's not a bribe. I really don't like it uh, when people use the gifts as the reason for asking for a referral, such as, you know, thanks for getting started with us. Um, if you refer a f friend, you get a free bag. I just think that's just really... Uh, pointless and it's not the reason why someone would refer a friend people refer a friend to help the friend so just remember to ask them is there anybody else out there that is also interested in health and fitness or interested in your products and um, and that way you're opening up that communication you're also qualifying that person and then if they do refer you and that person does join I think it's nicer to send them a present and that way it wasn't a bribe it's actually a real gift saying thank you so much for referring you know john to my business um here's a, a bunch of flowers or whatever the present is and it's just unconditional in promotion time it's a bit different because the members engaging with the promotion so you know um into you know it, for everybody that you refer to our business you go in the draw to win a trip for two to fiji that's different because they know that they're going into that promotion but just one-on-one -on -one referrals 
try and not use it as a bribe the staff will just get a bit lazy and start focusing on those those prizes or so, those presents instead of actually the real reason why they should be asking for a referral and that's so that member or that prospect can help another person also solve their problems which we can help them with so go out there get your referral strategy in place ask everybody and and watch your business grow if you just focus on referrals your business will grow